My faithful friend, you're there everywhere I go in my life. My faithful friend, in the darkness, the light shone over my life. My faithful friend, you bring peace in my heart in the trouble. Faithful friend, you are. Yes, hello everybody. I am very happy to know you. I mean, many in front of your televisions waiting for your English TV program, Let's Speak English. I am very happy to see you for a second time and we celebrate with those who are feasting today. We also sympathize with those who have lost to their family members, you know. Never lose hope. You'd better be courageous. We together, okay? You have to know that in this program, we've got two rubrics. First of all, we have to teach people because, you know, we need to show people how to act the word correctly in English, you know, having some knowledge in grammatical structures, conjugation, and, and so forth. And today, I've received Mr. Max Menga and Mr. Frawison. But we are going to start by Mr. Max. He's going to tell us about the importance of English. Mr. Max, how are you? Fine. I'm very happy to see you for a second and time. And so am I. Okay, let's reach the goal. What is a language? Before starting, I would like to give thanks to the Almighty God mm -hmm. for having given us this uh, opportunity to, to be in front of you, dear viewers, to talk about the importance of uh, the English language. And why not to express my gratefulness to you mm -hmm. for having uh, invited me to participate in this uh, special program, as we said it, Let's Speak English. Coming back to your preoccupation, mm -hmm. I wanted, wanted me to, to speak about, uh, to define a language. Okay. In a simple way, you can say that a language is uh, a means of a communication we use it to communicate we use it to give i mean to give one's opinion to express yourself to i mean to, to give your way of uh, seeing things to, to express your ideas your opinions your philosophy this is uh, in a simple way what our viewers must know about the language as i said at the beginning is a means of a communication. We use it to give a message, mm -hmm. and this is uh, very important. All right, thank you very much. You just spoke me here that the language is, I mean, the fact of communicating, okay? But I'm focused on English. You know, in English, when um, some people, when they speak English, you, it, it will be, an, I mean, unable for you to understand, impossible for you to understand. They speak English with the way you're impressing people, speaking quickly, in anger, maga, in disorder, you can get troubled. Okay, what can you tell those kind of people? You're right. So, uh, as I said, we speak a language, any language in the world, so as to give a message. Mm -hmm. As I said it, I don't speak for myself. Mm -hmm. Mainly, I want to take the case of uh, the English language. This is not our language. We are learning it. Okay, so that why when I'm speaking, I have to be more precise to be more clear so as to help i mean the case of uh, this program so as to help the viewers to get the message to understand what i want to say i can't let them read my mind to guess the message that i wanted to give this is a normal that why this kind of program it's so important mm -hmm. and and i hope that uh, we're gonna uh, with different topics that okay. will be debating in this kind of program, we're going to help. Uh, this is we no, no, you, you, that English is like any uh, any language. I, I have a question. Okay, yes. I want. I, I'd like you to explain us the purpose of this program. Yes, uh, uh, this program is so important, so important, very important. You know, these days. Uh, English is becoming more and more important, more and more important. For this reason, you're obliged to know it. 
you know how, how, how to give a message, how to greet people, how to interrupt, I mean, uh, uh, somebody in English, uh, how to ask permission. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the uh, people that are watching this kind of program are Christians. And the uh, men of God, they're traveling here and there. But it, it, it's for you, I mean, it, it, it's a profit for you to know, uh, as I was saying, uh, how to express yourself in English. Mm -hmm. And uh, this kind of program is there for you. I want you to like it. I want you to follow it uh, every Mondays to know what is gonna be what what is going to be said in this kind of program so uh my, my brother on my left and mm -hmm. you we are there to give them uh, some patterns to give them some items that we help them to use the language of shakespeare in the everyday uh, communication you know what you you were saying okay what you were saying is deeply important okay it's really interesting but you'd better know that we are in French speaking country, right? But is it an obligation for us to learn English? So why not? I said it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very important to know English nowadays. Because if you live in Kinshasa, for instance, I mean, if you live in Kinshasa for going uh, out of Kinshasa, mm -hmm. you're gonna see that English is, I mean, uh, is more spoken these days. And if you, you, you don't know how to speak English, so... More spoken all over the world? Yes. Nowadays, I mean, English. Nowadays, it's very important for you to know English. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to speak English, so, you, I mean, you are, uh, you are not connected. Oh. You are not connected. You are out of fashion. Yes, this is, I, mean, I was looking for the word. Yeah. You are out of fashion. With, without English, uh, really, life is, uh, life is blocked. Love is blocked. You're not. Uh, I mean, you're out of fashion, as I was saying. You have to know English, and uh, I know that for some of the the viewers or the majority of people, they find it very tough. They all say that English is very very difficult. It is very tough, uh, and uh, I like it, but um, I don't know how to speak it. This is a piece of advice that that I, I want to provide you. I know that, as we said, English is not our, I mean, our language. But how to know English, how to speak it, first of all, you have to, to like it, to love English. And number two, don't care about mistakes. Because we all say that mistakes are part of learning. Mistakes are part of learning. And the reason expression which says that home wasn't built in a day. As one goes along that to be using English, you're going to notice that you're going to improve your way of speaking. It's normal you, as a beginner, to make mistakes while speak English. It's normal. Don't care about mistakes. Mm -hmm. And mistakes are part of learning. Mistakes are, 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 are normal. But as one, as you be speaking, as you be reading, as you be communicating, mistakes are going to disappear. Mm -hmm. Today we are trying to speak English because we started somewhere with the language. Now, by the hope of I mean, by the grace of God, uh, now we, we are improving every day. I, I can't say that. I can't pretend that. I, I know I, I'm speaking a very good English. I can't say that. Yeah. I can't pretend to say that really my English is perfect. No. But we're trying to give a message. And what I'm speaking, you're understanding, you are getting the message, this is essential. All right, I appreciate you always speaking. But I have to analyze something. We've been at school, okay? We've been taught by, by teachers, our, our, I mean, famous teachers. But it's difficult for a pupil to act the word correctly in English when you learn English, I mean, at school. But once you go to the center, such as Kali uh, and so forth, what we host here in Congo for, for the time being, we have so a lot of centers. But once you go there, after two months, within six months, yes. you can be able to speak, speak English. English. Yes. yes, you're right. What you think is, I mean, is, uh, is right when you go, I mean, you know, in, uh, in uh, to learn English, I mean, somewhere you're going to see that within six months, okay, within six months. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to use English effectively. 
But this is not the case for, I, I mean, our, our, our students. They start to learn English six years after, six years after learning English, but they are still facing problems mm. to use English. And this is, I mean, uh, this is a, a, a very nice topic to analyze so as to know why our students after study English six years at school they are still facing problems there are many reasons among them can say our students first of all they lack English for for every marks they are studying English because they want they want to get marks they want to succeed but not for the purpose of using a language effectively. Not for the purpose to speak English, to know how to communicate, to, I mean, to, to, to speak English. And number two, now I'm talking about, uh, I mean, the, the teacher, those are teaching English. Most of them, I, I mean, are, are boastful. They want to show to the students that they know English. They are not helpers. A very good, I mean, you're pushing me to talk about the profile. Okay. Of, okay. Of, it's also of, good. Of, yes, the you profile. Can, what, what really the profile of a teacher? What are qualities that a teacher yes, can The produce? quality of a good language teacher. The quality of a good language teacher. A good language teacher is a facilitator. Mm -hmm. Is there, I mean, just to help the students? Is even a helper? To help students, to give them, I mean, so, some items which will help them to, to speak English. It's not they just, I mean, to, to, to fear a student. No. And a good language teacher has to give enough opportunities to the student to use, I mean, to use the language effectively, to communicate, to debate mm -hmm. among themselves inside and outside of the classroom maybe next time i'm gonna bring you my my, my, my research paper uh, where i've been talking about some some strategies that the language teacher has to use so as to, to help a student to use the language effectively inside and outside of the classroom mm -hmm. but and what about I, i'm gonna bring it to us to to help you on that to those who are, are, are watching this kind of program but of course yes but it's not only teachers even students also you can have a good teacher. It teaches. It teaches theory. Okay, but you once you go back home, you neglect all. You are not determined. You don't read, and you say English is difficult. Let me tell you. Let me tell those who are saying that English is difficult. English is not difficult. You have to have a certain determination. You have to do research. I mean, even a research if you need because okay, you have to do research, reading time to time, and you will go ahead. You'll progress. Okay, but teacher, today I receive you as a teacher, right? I need you to give us some my back strategies. Can also, it can also say a word because... Uh, Mr. Frawison is, is going to speak about another topic, but never mind, Mr. Frawison. But his teaching too can give his opinion okay. on what he's saying. Mr. Frawison, do you have something I mean to add about what you were speaking about? Yes, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mike. I really appreciate uh, this broadcasting. Mm -hmm. I'd like to suggest to greet everybody who are watching on TV right now. Um, and now just to bless also God for has given us the brief of life and to stand right in front of you and to debate with this topic. I think that uh, as a teacher, I want just to sustain uh, the teacher is next to me. Uh, he has a right to say it like this because today when we are speaking English, we are teaching, we want just to communicate. It's a certain communication with two, p two persons or two people. And this one is very, very necessary, very important for that. English now is uh, making fume, is eating the jackpot in the world, and we have just to sustain and we have to nourish. As they have said, knowing English is not also that you can go all in paradise, no. Knowing English is just for a communication and help people just the way as a teacher, showing a, a, I mean, a classroom or showing pupils to go ahead, push them with a little, uh, I mean, a little uh, different questions, and simple questions they will push them just to go ahead and to be perfectly in their life i think it's like this mr mark okay english is a communication we have to communicate uh, i mean what we are doing here okay but uh it, it's really interesting i appreciate you where you're speaking even the way you're responding okay 
Mr. Frobison, I don't know, okay? Do you have another thing to add about mean met methodology of teaching, you know, strategies of permitting people to, to, to squeeze all the money? Thank you very much, Mr. Mike. Uh, the methodology is just a simple. Just showing uh, a learner different uh, questions and simple questions to show them the way they can try to perform. Don't take much time of giving them uh, many lessons, but without practicing. I mean, practice makes perfect. The students must be practiced. Must be practiced with in different ways, but just practice, as you say, practice makes perfect. I think it's like this. This is the better way to make a student or a learner to go ahead. All right. Yes, Brother Max. Yes, okay, sir. Cool. I would like also to, to say that nowadays we have to focus on the speaking because, as I said, speaking makes perfect. We learn a new language to communicate. Uh, the primary purpose of learning a new language is to communicate, is to speak. Speaking comes first, even though other skills like uh, reading and writing are also important, but speaking comes first. Give them opportunities to use the language, to speak. And you as a teacher, you dare just to encourage them, to push them, to motivate your students so as to use the language. Mm -hmm. This is what you have to do. And another point is also that nowadays, in some schools of Kinshasa, those who are teaching, I'm not against them, but know the language and speaking, excuse me, know the language and teaching it are two different things you can be a good speaker of a language but it but teaching is different that was, uh, uh, it, 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 i mean it's so nice to, to to have i mean qualified english teachers because if you go at uh, i mean the university i mean the pedagogic university national university you go at sp gombe and some other schools you're going to see that they are, I mean, they are people trained just for teaching. They know what to teach and how to teach. And the, method the methodology nowadays is uh, speaking first. Give enough occasions, enough opportunity to, to your language. And you there as a helper to push them to, to, push them to, to use the language effectively. And for the learners, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. English is, I mean, it is not difficult as you're pretending. Mm -hmm. English is like Lingala, it's like French. French. So you have to, to express. I mean, you're willing to, to know the language and to speak, to speak it. All right, uh, teacher Max. Um, uh, I think uh, we are going to keep up with Mr. Ferguson about uh, another topic, but I'll give you, I uh, mean, your last word. So. Yes, uh, my last word for this kind of program yes. because I have it next time. Okay. I, I, I'm coming by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank you for this kind of program. Uh, to thank uh, the men of God, Bishop Albeck and Kenza Manambo, and why not Pastor Konga, who's uh, the number one of uh, Op TV for this kind of program. So I want you. To be following this kind of program every Mondays, we are there to help you. And we are not pretending to know English very well. We are trying. We are trying to speak it. You beginners, this program is for you. Every Mondays, we will be there just to help you, to mm -hmm. change with you. And I hope that you're going to speak English. You're going to improve your English. This program is for you, to help you to improve your English, to know English, how to greet people, how to interrupt people, how to ask names and uh, yes. how to make a telephone call. Okay, but how? Just in two minutes, okay? About asking names, even greetings, okay? Okay, it, it, it's some practice, that will be good. Okay, I'll I, I give an example here, yeah, yes. to make a telephone call. Mm -hmm. This is my telephone 
Hello? This is Mr. Max. Can I speak to Peter? Hello? This is Max speaking. Can I speak to Peter? I'm sorry. Peter's out. Can I get message? You see? Uh, another, an, a, another conversation. Hello? I'm Mr. Max. Are you Peter? No, I'm not. I'm Mr. Max. Sorry, you're welcome. Hello? Are you John? Yes, I am. My name is John. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You see, next time, we'll be giving this kind of... Uh, You've proved me. I've understood that you're really a good teacher. Because I'm this not... Is a good method. No, first of all, you're the general manager of uh, GTC. Mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. But you also... No, Yes, First I've of all, you're a teaching. teacher. Yes, okay. I, I've teacher been teaching. I, I've right. been teaching English, yes. but nowadays I, I, I'm no longer teaching because teaching doesn't pay. This is the point. I'm sorry. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like teaching, but I gave up because in our country, teaching is not paying, and I hope that teaching won't be paying in this country. That why I, I gave up, but I like it. Okay. This is what I did at the university. Okay, but I I I want to tell people that this is his domain. You, it, this is I mean you are you feel free you when you are in that field, okay? But I promise people that Max Mbenga is going to open a big English center here in Democratic Republic of Congo. It's on the way. It's coming, okay? Brother Max, thank you very much. God thank you, you for inviting me. I need you to promise people that you'll be here next time. Yes, next time. time. As I, I said it next time by the grace of God because. Mm -hmm. My love is in, in his hand. Mm -hmm. As Congo belongs to God, Congo, God as this is a message for your viewers. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Don't leave this country. This country belongs to the Almighty God. This country belongs to God. He has, I mean, a wonderful plan for this country. Don't worry. I, I, I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. Eating or not eating. I'm not afraid since my life belongs to him. My life is in his hands. Give your love to Jesus. Jesus loves you. Jesus is well for you. Don't care about, I mean, your mistakes. Don't care about, I mean, your life. Don't care about everything. God is a word for you. Join him and you'll be joyful. Is that a preaching or a teaching? Because sometimes I don't understand you. I mean, uh, 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 you, a teacher, a pastor, I'm not a pastor, but uh, yes. I, I gave a message. I, I gave a message oh. on, you know, these days our country is leading uh, a very funny life. Mm -hmm. that, that was as a, as a messenger, so I, I, I take this opportunity to give them a message because this is up TV. They need a message of up. They must be upful. Don't be hopeless. Be upful. Don't be hopeless. God is alive. And God is controlling our country because DRC belongs to Him, and we are His people. Mm -hmm. This is my message. You God bless you. After you, the next time, you surprise me. I'm really surprised, but we are going to keep on next time. Thank you very much. God bless you. The same too. Okay, thank you very much. As I told you last time, we are going to speak about homeless children with Mr. Frawison. With Mr. Fravison, today we are going to speak about homely children. Mr. Fravison is next to me, okay? Mr. Fravison, you have the floor. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Mark. As you have said, that uh, talking about uh, homeless children, it's a very important topic that's uh, because uh, this, uh, this phenomena is uh, eating the jackpot. I mean, it's making film in the world, not only at the, in the Congo, but also in the world. That's why we want to talk about, and I think that. Uh, I will be uh, enjoyable for that, I think. All right. Mr. Florison, I mean, could you explain us about homeless children? Yes, I want just to, 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 to explain in short. I mean, the homeless children is uh, a, a, a teenager, I mean, uh, a child who doesn't uh, totalize 16, uh, I mean, six, uh, 18 years old. And uh, it's also a child or a person a underage, I mean a teenager, who is living on streets without parents. I mean, who has, I mean, separated with their parents. I mean, it was a, 
a, a, a rapture of a family and uh, a, a child or a kid living on streets, eating on streets, I mean, taking care of itself, himself, I mean, and uh, in different places or in different corners, such as under a uh, subway, I mean, uh, under a uh, bridge, I mean, uh, next to the next to churches, and uh, it's a kind of a certain category of a person or a teenager living on the streets and uh, taking care of himself. All right, teacher, homely children. Okay, I want to, I mean, to emphasize about some cases. Okay, when you speak, when you're speaking about the rapture of, I mean, uh, the family. Okay, you talk about divorce. Okay, in another way. Okay, exactly. but. Can you say something about divorce? What can you tell people? Okay, is it good to make divorce? So really, uh, Mr. Mark, I think that uh, you know the the Bible says that when two persons reunion to I mean reunion for uh, going or living together and having also children or not, and it's not important just uh, separating or just uh, uh, having a kind of divorce. It's really not necessary for the life. I think that this kind of uh, message is really important. That divorce is really a bad thing in the life of a person or a life of a, 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 a two person engaged going ahead for the rest of the life. I think that it's uh, something that we cannot accept. Unacceptable, I think. Mr. Please, Mark. sir, tell me, in case of unfaithfulness, so in case of unfaithfulness, I think as I've just said, the Bible, because I am uh, emphasizing by the by, uh, according to the Bible, because when we go to the marriage and sometimes we have to be spread our life or to be in front of the authorities of country and in front of the God. And for that case, I think that it's, uh, it's bad for our unfaithfulness. I mean, when uh, a wife Go, uh, goes to uh, to be uh, in another person and not to be engaged with another person. Mm. I think that it's not good. And as uh, a father I am, I'm not going to sustain this point. And I think that we can go for a divorce, but we have also to see what can happen after unfaithfulness or after separating about children. What the children uh, will uh, should become after the separation after the divorce i think that unfaithfulness it's something that we can tolerate it's untolerable yes but uh, we are going also to see some consequences after uh, unfaithfulness i mean that's with something that we cannot accept and i think that we can ask a divorce but divorcing for that case i think that i can sustain a wife cannot do that all right oh uh, it's good but we speaking about homeless children, I mean children on the street, yeah. right? But in case of the death of parents, today you can have much money, you leave your family, I mean with your family in no money, okay? There are much law, you know. But after sometimes suddenly you can lose your life, I mean, okay, you can pass away. But after you, your family chases you, I mean your, your wife and your children. So I think that... Uh in this case, you know, we 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 were born and we 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 growing up, and it's a certain level as God has created a, a human being. We are going to to go bananas. I mean that we are going to die. Mm -hmm. But I think that we have to take care of first of all children, to lead them, to show them God, to tell them that how oh, you can survive after years after I will not be in the life. I think that I'm not uh, eternal, but we, we have to, to, teach, to teach our child, to teach our kids how they are going just to face off the life after, after the parents, uh, uh, I mean, uh, go bananas, die. Mm -hmm. And I think that in that case, we have to prepare our child. We have to prepare the life of our children. We have to prepare the, the, the social life of the children. After I would not be in the life, what they will have to do, what they will have to become, what they will have just to realize in the life. Because when we're talking about homeless children, we are seeing a underage, I mean, 
a child who doesn't that is the case okay once they are under age they are teenagers okay. Okay? they are teenagers what are going they i mean uh, what are they going to do uh, i mean after you because they're teenagers they're unable to i mean to to look for money i mean uh, you know they are unable and i think that in this case because it's uh, we are in a family we are a big family i can go today but i think that even my 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 aunts my uncles but when they know god they know the 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 importance of uh, children they will take care of them and i'm going just to teach them the way they can try to take care of their their child after i will not be in the life you know sometimes a human being is <laughs> exactly sometimes but when we know that i am living in good condition i am living with god i am sustaining people i am helping people after i will not be in the life people there will also take care of my children but once they will grow up i think that they will try to survive themselves mm -hmm. and things that, that things will not happen i mean it will no more happen after i will not be in the life teacher we speak about the i mean the divorce the death of parents you know but you can be to get together what about the lack of means you don't have money you are unable to feed your family nothing okay sometimes they can go to look for out, outside I mean, something to eat so i think that uh, uh mr mr mike this uh, this kind of things it's a, 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 a an important question i mm -hmm. i like it mm -hmm. but we have also to share the, the 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 these things i think we have our work we have our responsibility and the government also has got their their responsible uh, responsible uh, responsibility i think what i can say mm -hmm. how because when I don't have money, first of all, I'm, I want to be sustained by the government because I'm going to work. But after working, I want just to get something more important. Yes, you're right. But after that, if I don't have money, I want to go next to the government. The government should take care of, take care of me, as we can see in another country where it doesn't have money. Mm -hmm. And it can be helped by another person and in different conditions, first of all, maybe being uh, uh doing for example a computer working somewhere help these, par these parents to do something and with this something is going just to they are going also to help their children in that case i think mm -hmm. that the 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 part is shared by the government and parents themselves i think you speak about entrepreneurship exactly the autonomy yeah exactly all right teacher but uh, sometimes uh, it's unbelievable why this phenomenon this phenomenon is making a film all over the world i mean precisely in congo thank you very much uh, this uh, this uh, phenomenon as you say is making film all over the world but we, i want just to talk about also my country because i want just to limit also okay. my country mm -hmm. you know in congo uh, we have uh, when is my mic my, my I, I am no longer living i mean i passed away and my child can be rejected by my family maybe they can reject my wife and they, they can say they can go to the church saying that that uh, my child my children they are witches they are sorcerers but after that they will leave them on the streets they will neglect this one is, is a part of uh, what i can say second we also uh, can see the parents does a uh, parent don't have money and the, the child, the children can go on streets, look for uh, something to survive. And then they can feed. When they see today, I've got something. Tomorrow I look something. Tomorrow I look something and I check, I get it. I said, no, no, living on streets, it's something very important. They can, I can go like this in that way. Mm -hmm. It's also that way. And second, about divorce, we, I'm going just to shed light on that. Mm -hmm. About divorce, after divorcing and children go on streets, reject them and this also a kind of part that is making film in the country or even all of the country neglect child neglect a kid an innocent person innocent person you see uh, new bird yeah a newly born i think it's not important teacher you speaking about, about the government you know the government must help you know the government must do something okay but if you were if you were one of the authority, I mean authorities of this country, or if you were a president or prime minister, okay, what would you do for overcoming to that situation? 
thank you very much. It's a a good uh, good question. I think that as uh, as I'm uh, in the life, uh, my dream someday become a uh, a minister, becoming a very important person. I think that in that case, it's very 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 fa uh, easy or very easy. I think first of all, we have to go. We have to create to create, for example, orphanage to create orphanage for orphans. To, to, to push them to work to create some uh, uh, different uh, uh, different work a manual label what you can say a manual label to those children rejected mm -hmm. just to work every day they are working and they can be a very important some, uh, somebody in their life it's what I, I will have to do it's what I'm going to pretend doing in my life creating a lot of things a lot of companies a lot of manual labels to mm -hmm. help those children to work every day and there and then they will grow up I think that God will bless me and those children they will also bless me in their work they can work also in different ways for a level manual a manual you know level, I think. you were speaking like a political man okay a politician okay this is the way you're speaking they have a good speech before getting the power but once they they there I mean once you you give them the, the opportunity of working they totally change mr. Flowers. so I think that this one first of all it's a kind of a mentality mm -hmm. a kind of mentality we think that in the life when we we, 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 we we are growing up we have to have a certain uh, uh, work I mean a certain belief a certain hope that someday after being that man after being this man after doing this then I can try to do that 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 I think in that way it's first of all a kind of mentality but I think that someday when I become a, a minister I become a deputy I think that I will never for I will not forget for that I will create I will do that for our development country I think that in that way we I can don't we don't point. believe in them we don't believe in this kind of men political men it was in parentheses okay in brackets yeah. but what are consequences or aftermath to these children so they are really you know uh, thank you very much for okay. this uh, question mm -hmm. I think that this question is very important you know uh, that their children they're exposed in different consequences such such as they have got first of all a violence living on streets sleeping on streets it's a violence they are not uh, uh getting food exactly as well as people or as well as children are doing at home are eating mm. i think that they're exposed with a lot of sickness and maladies they can get who is going to help them who is going to treat them mm. this one is also the second point i mean they can be uh, uh, I mean, they can become even today. We are seeing Kaluna. I mean, going to the corner and try just to kill somebody just to raise so to survive. Do you see that's a kind of things? And this one we have just to not to sustain a danger mm. and those consequences. When the government will have to arrest them, they will go to the jail. And you can live your life. You can pass your life in jail. It's something that's intolerable for a human being. Mm. These are some consequences for those persons. Someday when a child die, who is going to take care of them? Governments. Mm -hmm. But why also we are just pushing people to the government and the government has got also a lot of things to do. Do you see? Even he's going just to sustain. But we are not going just to push just our charger to, their, uh, to the government. It's not really important. And it's uh, regrettable for these kind of things. And we have to, to tell people, we have to, to, to call people out to sustain, to sustain these kind of things and to reject everything's bad and to 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 i mean to grow up in this better condition for a, a life all right it's really interesting but can you summarize you have your last word because we are almost in the end yeah first of all i appreciate i thank you i thank you because uh, you have given me this opportunity to take to talk about uh, this kind of topic it's necessary i think also uh, all uh, authorities of uh, this uh, Journal and this kind of uh, uh, initiative, it's uh, it's very important. I think that days by days, I will also uh, tell people who those want just to come as me, they can try even to contact you and to come just to talk about this kind of things. So as we can, uh, I mean, we can try to grow our life and to grow and to to release our country for this uh, 
kind of initiative thank you very much i think uh, those are watching viewers i thank you very much because you have uh, taken the time for seeing uh, us in uh, this uh, berry channel and this uh, let's speak it's uh, this broadcasting a tremendous broadcasting and i thank everybody god bless you and i thank also god for this opportunity thank you very much mr mark this is mr frarison thank you mr frarison thank you very okay. much okay but let me tell you that homeless children are those who live on the street they feed themselves they manage themselves they they clad themselves they do all on the street without support most of them are forsaken by the parent others are chased from the house but i have to give a piece of advice we have some causes that make children to be on the streets first of all we have the divorce and the lack of the lack of means first of all parents must agree each other so as not to be divorced because the divorce pushes children to be on the streets it's not something interesting and the government must create so many factories so that parents find the means of supporting the children in orphaning thank you very much we are going to meet next time stay tuned bye My faithful friend, you're there everywhere I go in my life My faithful friend, in the darkness the light shone over my life My faithful friend, you bring peace in my heart in the trouble Faithful friend, you are